Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the official opening of Westchester's Winter Wonderland's drive through Holiday Light Extravaganza. Yay! <laughs> I'm Joe Stad. I'm the Executive Director of the Westchester Parks Foundation. It's my pleasure to kick off the holiday season here with you all tonight. This marks the eighth year that the Parks Foundation has done Winter Wonderland as a way, we started this as a way to strengthen the connection between parks and the community, especially at times in the winter time when it's not as busy, although you can't tell from the last two years, parks are busier than ever. We all visit Kensico Dam Plaza Park throughout the year, but to see it transform into this magical winter wonderland for five weeks is pretty cool. This holiday season is magnificent. It's truly a tradition for so many of us, not here just in Westchester, but throughout the tri-state area. This event is a team effort, so I'd like to take some time to thank all of our sponsors for helping us make this happen, especially our title founding sponsor has been with us for all eight, year, all eight years, the Westchester Medical Center Health Network. Thank you very much. A special thanks to our other sponsors, who we couldn't do this without, is Con Edison, Yay. Wegmans, Yay. Eclectic Precision, and Dark Tech Effects. They get the lights to go on. Yay. Westchester County Tourism, News 12, m and Bank, our New Year's Eve sponsor. Iona Prep, our holiday music sponsor. Robeson Oil and Roby Dog. Tonight's opening night sponsor. And as always, this could not be done without the partners at the Department of Parks, Recreation, and Conservation. They do a tremendous job of putting this together every year. This also would not be possible if our board members, who uh, thought we were nuts eight years ago, didn't support this program. Many of them are here tonight. So thank you for your support, your time, your vision, and for all the things you do for Westchester County and for our foundation. Now please join me in welcoming the chair of our board, Seth Mailerbaum, to talk about what's new this year. Yay! Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Welcome, everyone. I just want to thank the Parks Department for arranging for the snow. Very good job. My name is Seth Mandelbaum. I am the chair of the Westchester Parks Foundation Board. And it's my pleasure to welcome everyone to the opening of Westchester's Winter Wonderland drive through Holiday Light Extravaganza for 2021. Yay! Now, the Westchester Parks Foundation advocates for and invests in our 18,000 acres of amazing county parkland and open space. And as the organization that partnered to envision and develop this iconic event of Winter Wonderland, we know that it will bring in thousands of individuals from all across the Hudson Valley. What you will see in a few minutes when you go through the drive through is an incredible light show with a lot of new features this year, and it will illuminate one of our most iconic parks, Kensico Dam Plaza. It will make it bright for everyone throughout the region to enjoy through New Year's. Guests will be dazzled and delighted with 1.2 miles of holiday lights, larger than life displays, live characters, and of course, Santa. Let's hear it for Santa. <laughs> right from the warmth and comfort of your own vehicle. While you can tune in to some holiday classics on the radio on 88.7 FM. We are thrilled to be open this year, seven nights a week with earlier hours on weekends, rain, snow, or shine. And we're also excited to offer Ned and Albert treat bags from Wegmans that can be purchased when you order your tickets. New attractions this year include my, the one I'm most excited about, the Elf Disco, a whimsical display of jubilant children from around the world, a breathtaking Peace on Earth LED display with animated trumpets and angels, and two new 30-foot snowflakes to light up the largest holiday Christmas tree in Westchester County. And don't forget Santa Claus who will greet every car, I'm promising, in person at the end of your visit. There's truly nothing else like this event in the area, even though there's some copycat uh, events. This is the best one. Now it is my great pleasure to introduce Westchester County Deputy County Executive Ken Jenkins. All right, everyone, it's a, that time of year again, and this is certainly an honor and a privilege this evening to be here with you again for the eighth time, yes, yes. for the eighth year in a row. The outstanding work with the Parks Foundation, with the partnership of our 
award-winning, nationally accredited park system here in Westchester County. Let's give it up for Commissioner O'Connor and all the folks here tonight. I know that they, they did cue the snow. I know it started coming in. That was so awesome in doing that. Again, this is a fantastic, fantastic opportunity. Winter Wonderland here in Westchester County. Um, I have the distinct privilege to be able to recognize and introduce um, our family this evening um, from the Maria Ferrari Children's Center and Santiago Junior Caraval and the entire Caraval family is here um, and he, he just woke up so you know let's give him some love right so let's give it up for him right he's gonna help us do this in, in just a moment but before we get there to make sure we're keeping it moving and keeping ourselves moving in this nice weather it's my privilege to introduce Dr. Carrie Mew from the Westchester Medical Center. Hello, thank you so much for having me here. Our family loves this event. The lights were beautiful last year and it is my honor to be here representing WMC Health and Maria Ferry Children's Hospital. Westchester Parks Foundation has once again done an amazing job creating a phenomenal drive through experience. I want to thank Deputy County Executive Jenkins, Commissioner O'Connor, the Westchester Parks Foundation, and the entire community for its support of Maria Ferrari Children's Hospital this year and always. I am thrilled that Santiago and his family are here today to celebrate with us. He and his family have been through so much, but they have remained optimistic and have never given up, and he is doing so well, and I'm so excited to see him now. <laughs> Just woken up from a nap. Yes. <laughs> Maria Ferry Children's Hospital cares for the most seriously ill and injured children. As the, as the Division Chief for Pediatric Neurosurgery, I know that events like Winter Wonderland provide great respite for families going through challenging times. Being in a hospital is tough for a child, especially during the holidays. To help bring holiday cheer to a hospitalized child, we're inviting everyone to donate gifts using our online gift registry to send toys to children in the hospital. You can learn more by going to mariaferrychildrens.org or myregistry.com. Thank you in advance for your generosity. We and the children truly appreciate it. Have a happy, healthy holiday season. Yay! Okay. And now, I'd like to introduce the Commissioner of Westchester County Parks and Recreation, as mentioned by Ken Jenkins, accredited, award-winning Parks Department, Kathy O'Connor. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Seth. I'm Kathy O'Connor. I'm the Commissioner of this wonderful, award-winning, nationally accredited Parks, Recreation, Conservation Department. This is the biggest program that our department undertakes every year actually for the last eight years and what's really exciting is that it is um, a program that the entire department you can't get away from me the entire department has their hand in building um, but a super shout out to our general maintenance to uh, all the organization all the divisions that are part of our department that has really put this program together Dominic Gangemi is the super tenant of this park and the poor guy we move in we move in at the end of September we take over all his space and then we move out in January um, but I'd like to really say thank you to the Westchester Parks Foundation to um, the Board of Trustees of the Parks Foundation for really supporting this event and it really is a match made in heaven. We've worked so hard. The show is unbelievable this year. There's even more. Don't go through it alone because if you're driving it's not a good idea to try to see everything. Have somebody drive you. I did it. Um, but it's really, really an awesome show. Congratulations. We're open every day until January 2nd except for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And again, thank you. Whoa. Thank you. I thought it was thunder. I said, what next? Thank you to the County Executive, George Latimer, who unfortunately was unable to make it. Of course, the Deputy County Executive, Ken Jenkins, and everyone else that has something to do with this event. It's now my pleasure to introduce somebody that's been at all our events, Felix and Robodog from Robeson. Hey. 
Come on up. Thank you. It's Roby Dog, but we got that. Um, like you said, uh, my name is Felix Tapia, the director of marketing for Robeson. Um, on behalf of Robeson and the Singer family, we just want to say thank you to the Westchester Parks Foundation and all the sponsors for allowing us to be part of such a magical event. Um, for 100 years in business, it's been in the fabric of Robeson to be a good citizen of Westchester, and we believe sponsoring events like this helps us achieve that. And it goes without saying, but this is one of Roby Dog's favorite events of the year because he likes to hang out with Santa. So thank you very much. Okay, now I'd like to call everyone over to the podium that was part of the speeches here, especially Roby and Santa. Come on. Now, we need everyone's help because there's a really big tree on the other side of the damn plaza, Densico Dam Plaza. We're going to all count down in a minute from five. If we're ready, ready? We're going to start with five. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to take a couple pictures and then we're going to go warm up in our cars. <laughs>